Hey guys, it's your girl Sean. So, um, how are my lovies doing today? I hope good. So, this video is, instead of doing, I didn't really have, um, I didn't really do, um, an April favorites. Um, and I don't think I did, like, a March favorites either. Um, so I decided to do, instead of doing that, I decided to just, um, make a video um basically what my favorites are right now like you know basically what I love so this video will be called what Shonda loves and um or what Sean loves um so I'm trying to still pick stuff out <laughs> okay so as you guys know um I have been um or I don't know if you guys know I have been experimenting with um, different makeup and trying different stuff out. Um, you guys have seen my Hot Topic videos with the Hot Topic eyeshadows. Well, I um, I love these. I have a Hot Topic palette in Sour. And those are really pretty. Um, this one is in Dark. Pop it open so you guys can see the colors very pretty and as you know they're really really super pigmented because um you guys have probably seen my tutorials already um and some of them come with the name on the back some of them don't for example this one came with the name on the back and it says dark but I don't know what this palette is I think it's the candy palette but I'm not exactly sure so don't quote me on it but this one didn't have a name and so when I bought and this one didn't have a name so when I bought this one this is the sour palette I just wrote sour palette on the back so I would know what the name of it is but I got these from Hot Topic um this palette and the dark palette was a gift to me from my girl Ellie a long time ago and I did a review if you guys look back through some of my videos I had done a review on these eyeshadows promised that I would do looks and they went in my kit my like makeup and I never really touched them again and then I recently pulled them out and I fell in love again um I also am a big fan of their baked eyeshadows and this one is in lime green I have a pink one, an orange one, and a purple one. And I have swatches of these baked eyeshadows over at my um, blog spot. So if you want to see what those look like, you can check my blog spot. Um, also, um, I recently heard about Nika K. I've seen Nika K stuff all around. But I decided to try out the Nika K um, nail polishes. Now this um, has this nail polish has seemed to have faded a little bit, and my light isn't doing it justice. There you go. That is the color, um, and it is Nika K. I bought it from my local beauty supply store for 99 cents. Such a pretty blue. I love it. And this one here is called Turquoise, and this is how it looks in the bottle. But once you have it on, it's like that really pretty, like, mermaid blue, and I really like it. Um, and it was only 99 cents, and again, this one is in Turquoise. I think to make it darker, you would need about three coats. This is only about two coats that I have on right now. Um... My next things that I have been loving is, um, I have been a sucker for, um, liquid liner right now, um, because I've been trying out different liners and stuff, and I haven't really found it, and as you guys know, I was using my L'Oreal Intense, well, I hate this stuff, I really do, so I went back to using my, um, I went back to using my Wet n Wild, I tried it out, I, I found it in my makeup stuff, and guys I love this stuff they are cheap but they are, this is a great liquid eyeliner um, I have it on right now and as you can see it's actually black I noticed like over the day and during the time with the L'Oreal it doesn't really end up being black anymore it's like some grayish color or something um, and it tends to just fade um, so I have it in black this one is in 863 which is like a really cute um, turquoise color 
like a green shamrock maybe like a shamrock green color it's very very pretty um and for the life of me i don't know why i stopped using these i think it's because i really did when i first started out with makeup i sucked with liquid liner and i also have this one in 864 which is a purple color you guys can see so you can find these at any walgreens or anything like that the next thing that i'm definitely loving right now is l'oreal decrease um l'oreal decrease works for me just as good as urban decay and Too Faced shadow insurance so i will be stuck with l'oreal decrease from now on i may go back and purchase another bottle of um urban decay primer potion only because it lasted me for so long before i had to actually i'm getting ready to throw that out my next favorite things right now that I am totally loving is these NYX pencils. Um, I first picked up, I have a black one, um, purple, and this is a lip liner here in Fuchsia. These two are eyeliners, and this one right here, the brown, dark brown, is an eyeliner as well. But I use it to draw my eyebrows on with, and I like the outcome of how it um, draws my eyebrows on. So I really love these. The next two things are NYX products as well, and this one here is the NYX Concealer in a Jar. Um, I do like it. Um, the only thing is, is that um, from me not sleeping, and I will make a video on this and let you guys know what's going on. From me not sleeping, I noticed that, I never really paid attention, but I have slight bags under the eyes. And it covers, but I think because when I smile you see them right here um but they're so like deep that i don't know if any concealer will really cover them up this does a, a good job but not as good as i want it but as for now i like it i still like it um it is a little bit oily but i don't mind it because my skin is already dry um and it's funny because it's dry as long as i don't have any makeup on the moment i put makeup on for some reason i get oily so but most of the time it's really dry the next thing that I really, really like, you guys saw this in a haul video of mine, is the concealer stick from NYX. And the reason why I like this is not so much as because it conceals. Um, I like it to to conceal my eyebrows. So that is what I use this for now. Is It's a handy stick to conceal your eyebrows versus trying to put, um, use a brush, for example, and go over your eyebrows with a brush this works just as good and then you can just rub it in with your finger um the next thing the next two things are lip products and um i'm really loving the la gloss um la colors lip gloss um this one that i have they don't have names on them so this one's like a peachy pink color um but it's really pretty much nude on your lips this one is a clear one with a lot of sparkles in it and it's pretty much um clear with just sparkles on it on your on your lips it's very very pretty um so i'm very big fan of those because they they're very moisturizing they're not dry they don't dry your lips up because you know some lip glosses are um very sticky and they seem to be very drying that's not how those are it feels like they have like lip conditioners in there um so your lips are stay really soft my next thing that I like is the Infinite Liquid Eyeliner Up to 24 Hour Wear from Milani. And I will be doing a review on this product for you guys. Um, I love it. Um, it stays very, very black. Um, just, I want to do a review for you guys. So, But it is one of my products that I love. The next thing that I'm loving right now is my Lash Blast Mascara. I know I told you guys that I hate that, but I'm very much a stickler on mascara. My other favorite mascara was this L'Oreal one, but you only have it about a month before it starts cracking up in the um, tube and flaking on your eyes. This only lasts about a month. It dries out really, really fast, and I need a mascara that lasts, and this um, Lash Blast last pretty pretty long um it's about time for me to buy a new tube because i have had this for over three months and um my eyes are sensitive at times so i do need to buy a new tube but that is definitely my favorite and i know i said i didn't like it but i ended up like trying it out alone without adding because somebody told me to use that and add another mascara and i hated it i thought it was like the lash blast that was doing it and one day I put this on without any other mascara and I fell in love. 
So, I love that. The next thing I'm loving is another NYX product. I'm on an NYX kick, guys. Um, and this one is cottage cheese. And the reason why I like cottage cheese is, if you guys can see, this was a matte shadow. And it made it, I don't know if you guys can see it, it made it like slightly pearlized. And, um, that's why I like it because it gives matte shadows a pearlized look, which I'm going to put a little bit on my hand. And, um, I gotta hurry. I'm going to dab like a little bit of shadow across it. And if you guys can see that, it made it like a little bit pearlized. Pearlized. I why I keep saying pearlized, pearlized, like a pearlized finish. So, all right, those are my favorites. I hope you guys enjoy. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.